Feathers for Lunch by Lois Ellert. Uh-oh, doors left open just a crack. My cat is out and he won't come back. He's looking for lunch, something new. A spicy treat for today's menu. His food in a can is tame and mild. So he's gone out for something wild. He's snooping and sneaking. Those birds sure look good. If he could catch one, he'd eat it. He would. But when his bell jingles, birds call a loud warning. Big Cat got out early this morning. But cats can't fly and they can't soar. And birds know what their wings are for. So he keeps prowling, hoping to munch. But all he catches are feathers for lunch. I love this book for so many reasons. One of them is that the illustrations are based on real birds. Even better is that all of these birds live in the same neighborhood as we do. I've seen every one of these birds. And I think a lot of you have too. Today when you do your drawing, you can think about these real birds that we see every day, or you can use your imagination and combine different patterns and colors and create your own. I'm going to start my drawing with a circle. I'm left-handed, so my circle is on the top left. Towards the edge of the paper, I'm going to add triangles for the beak. I turned my paper so I could trace my hand. Notice that my fingers are pointing away from the circle. My hand takes up most of my paper. I'm going to turn my paper back and I'm going to start at my circle for my head and make a big smile line to make the belly. I draw my eye and then I start to think about the shapes and colors of different birds. You could go back and pause the video on one of your favorite birds or you could draw lines and patterns and shapes and create your own design. I added this line here so that I would have a wing and tail feathers. Lois Ellert makes very simple shapes for her feet. They're just thin rectangles. 